This does not seem like the usual road rage that we deal with here in Los Angeles or anywhere else right. for that matter. It doesn't, but I actually really do believe this friend. I don't believe that this mother would take her son into this dangerous situation and search out this man who she believes cut her off or whatever happened. I don't really believe that but that it's was weird, her intention. Right? It's yeah. weird, right? She goes very, home and then she right. goes back out and the, the son's odd. got a gun. It's very odd. I just, I just know there's going to be more to this story before right. we're all done here. Absolutely. Now, now almost 13,000 people have been injured or killed in crashes involving aggressive drivers. Judy, uh, the one thing I always tell people is do not assume that somebody else's mind or brain works like yours. It might be the one person who is on meth or has a gun or is impulsive or is psychotic like our, our buddy in the last segment. You just don't know. Absolutely, Dr. Drew. You know, I live in L.A. and I encounter people with road rage all the time. And I always think of don't even try anything back because this could be the day that you die because you're trying to defend yourself or flip them off. What is that worth? Yeah. So, you know, this is one of the issues about people with road rage. You think that it might just be a natural reaction to being in traffic. These are clearly not natural reactions, what we're talking about right. here. There could have been something very serious here. I think there's two types of road ragers, the type that doesn't have a lot of stimulation in their brain, so they seek that stimulation and they escalate for that reason and it gives them excitement, or the type of people who are clinically anxious, so they're actually heightened all the time, and so they respond in such a hypervigilant and sort of exaggerated way to any kind of slight. Wow. That, that, that's the, yeah, Samantha, you're saying, wow, because you you, there's different kinds of road rage. Judy is absolutely yeah. right, and there's another kind and it's actually the, mo the more the chronic road rager, the person, if you know somebody that sort of is always aggressive when they drive, that person oftentimes, I've actually done some studies on some of these, they actually become hyper inhibited during yes. the road rage. They actually, their pulse goes down, their mm. blood pressure goes down, and they actually get kind of high off it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Vanessa? I don't know if I agree with that. I think sometimes. No, it's not, it's not agree funny. or not agree. That's just a fact. <laughs> that's just a, no, okay, I'm not Dr. saying Drew, all of them are that way. It's a fact that you have, but I don't think it's categorizing just those three categories. As someone who has experienced some level of road rage, sometimes yourself. people piss you off. Yes, sometimes yeah. there's something that happens on that road and you are not yourself, and it is just an impulse moment, and I don't think I'm chronically road rager or any of the other categories that you listen no, no, i think you i'm would a mother in, no, no, with you a would child be, in her car you would be who's the, willing there to is a category herself. judy put you in a category you're the anxious road raiser yes. who, who escalates you're not the you're not the one i don't one. think i'm an anxious no, person but I, we're not what about saying. when you're driving what about when you're driving maybe you are then just when you take me there when, nor, well, on a normal day that's what judy's saying getting that's back what, and the, forth but Vanessa, this sounds like Vanessa, a chronic thing you're making our case for us she is she is she you're exactly what judy <laughs> said you were, which is that there, there are some people that are, some people are hyper inhibited and look for the uh, for this, this stuff. You're not that. Right. You're the one who occasionally gets pushed over. That's okay, the other the kind. I didn't hear the word occasion, but okay. Yeah. Right. Occasionally. That's the other that's kind. And then there's, you're, and, that's, occasionally. and that's different than the chronic road okay. rager who's always out there hyper and you know, who gets high off of this stuff. Yeah. And those people, those people actually, my experience, have not been that dangerous, except they create accidents sometimes.